November 25th, this year on Five Friday. Now this three-year-old male golden retriever comes in with this uh, actually bleeding tail, uh, tail bleeding. This is the second time because the first time in 2011 August. Now it's uh, 2015. After that, didn't have it. Right? Uh, so at that time, there was a bleeding tail. So, so this is interesting because uh, why would he have the second time? At that time, it was suspected to be allergies, contact allergies. Uh. But now I noticed that he's not only have this bleeding tail, he also have this infection on the inside the tail here. Eh? There is his caps here. Mm. So I've been biting his tail. Uh. He's been biting his tail. So you can see the whole thing is actually uh, infected, uh, the whole area. So it's very itchy. Now one of the causes, of course, will be something fall onto the tail, like uh, laundry, the chlorine, or the washing machine, uh, because this top likes to lie in the wash area. Oh, so yeah. something irritating, chemical. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is uh, the inner sac. Now the owner has has expressed it every week. Is it every week? Yes, every week. Uh, so actually there is still some more coming up, mm -hmm. but the very little on the right uh, side, but not much, uh, not much. So you shoot out to his son's face. Uh. <laughs> Do you wash your face? Uh? Because the son was standing behind. But uh, actually there is no swelling here. Eh? No more swelling. So did he chase after the tail? No. But Just he bite, he bite, he likes to bite. Uh, tail biting is one of the signs of anal sac mm. uh, infection or infection. But why he does it, is it before you express, how, how often you express anal sac? About once three, every three, three, uh, once every three days. Once every three days is quite, oh. quite good. But you can see that, the oil coming out. Huh? There. Maybe you got to use mm. the fingers. Huh? Okay. Use the fingers. But this is a very fresh oil, so, uh, mm, uh, so okay. it's much more than that. Lucky mm. his son didn't stand behind. So it's more on the left, on the right side. Okay. And this is this is uh, one of the reasons. Uh, but the other reason is traumatic injury and lying on the chemical. Uh. So now I'm going to express some more because I'm surprised that uh, really? uh, I'm surprised that he has some more oil. But these are the fresh oil. So this this shows that this dog is a uh, very hyperactive in uh, producing this oil uh, mm -hmm. because if the owner does it so frequently he shouldn't have it so the other solution is to do a surgery and remove the inner sac the glands uh, because this oil is too young so it will be good to remove it you can see mm -hmm. the right one uh. oh, okay. oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. so you have to express it further down maybe you can okay. do it further down mm -hmm. and uh, Press, push it up uh. mm. uh, Sometimes we have to put our finger inside, but it's too much for you. Sometimes we have to do that and put finger in and... Mm. Uh, but this one is a recent one uh, because you can see the oil is very fresh, fresh yellow and very clear. So, so all he has to do is just to massage that one. Uh, a bit uh, away from his face, uh, otherwise it will shoot into his face. Okay, but this is not the main problem. Uh. The main problem I suspect is a traumatic injury from something splashed on his tail. But and, it, uh, it's also probably yeah. on the side here. And then there's a hot spot, yeah. all these no, are infected. Mm. He's been biting it. And uh, one possibility is that the owner might have been uh, uh, a bit too rough on the inner side. I don't know, were you quite oh, hard? No, we, no, no, not too hard. I don't know because uh, normally it's best to do it on the table, you do it on the floor. Right? On the floor, yeah. it's hard for the dog. Okay, now we turn to the side, come ready. Oh. One, two, three. three. Okay, that's it. Okay, turn to the side. Okay. This side. Oh, this side. Turn to down. my side. Okay, okay. one, two, two, three. My side. No, my oh, side. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, the, now, like okay. the other Westie, <coughs> like the other Westie, yeah, uh, which has also the same problem, the back back area, the, the other Westie has been biting here. Oh, we do this side. No, no, no. I've been biting here and there and uh, now this dog has also this hair loss here which you can see both sides huh? now this normally is due to the ears uh, ears painful or itchy uh. so his ear drops is a commercial ear drops so right, sure. so the commercial ear drops sometimes uh, cause allergy and pain to the dog's ears but they clean the ears the ears are clean are quite clean, I noticed. Huh? And although there is no pain, there is no pain, huh? so we don't know what is inside the commercial ear drops. And uh, do you do it every every week? Huh? Every week. I does it every week. So uh, 
Do you put powder in? No. But you see there is no pain you know, at the ears. No? There is no pain. No inflammation. It's pretty good. No? But there is some signs of scratching of the ears. No? So overall, this uh, skin infection, the hot spots, uh, could be caused by contact on the environment, on the ground. Uh, because he likes to sleep in the wet area where the washing machine is like, discharging mm -hmm. the chlorine, the soap, the chemicals. So the only solution is to prevent it. But how you do it, I don't know. Uh, so, so now for the tail, we need to shape what and wash up the whole tail. And sometimes uh, we need to bandage it as well to prevent injury. But uh, the worst comes the worst, it's very bad then, of course, the, uh, amputate the tail. And that's, that's the, the situation. Well, now he has a lot of biting here, as the other dog. I don't know whether the other dog bites him or he bites the other dog. Because he's biting himself. Because you see, this is yeah. almost the same as the Westie, the sound of the Westie. So the neck is all gone again, on board again. And uh, we have to start from square one again. Okay, finish.